Well, this is a different band. It's been set up by Chris Montague here, and it's really his his band. It's called Warmer Than Blood. I've played with Ruth in lots of different projects and bands over the years, and at the minute we all play in Sarah Gillespie's band, so it's a very incestuous little <laughs> musical soup of things that we do. But we all live in them. Um, a, 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 a little place called Chesham, the, the People's Republic of Chesham, on the uh, the, the western fringes of, of London. And um, I just thought it was it was ridiculous that we played all this other music together. We don't have our own band where we can just get together as friends and play this this new new stuff, you know. And it gives you a chance because we live so close. We don't have to, you know, schlep into London and get rehearsal rooms. We can just do it in our houses. So it's it's really good fun. And, Well, me and Chris have played for maybe 10 years and we played uh, in a band that had lots of electronics and keyboards and this band is all acoustic so I'm just playing piano apart from the amps that they play through but um, it's not loud uh, rocky music it's very um, introspective chamber music in a way yeah I think I think just a uh the general sound that we make in as a trio is something very new to me, you know. This, maybe as Kit says, because of the piano and the electric bass, and Kit also does a lot of prepared piano sounds, so he's got a lot of different sounds which are very, which are acoustic, but somehow sound very percussive, and you know, because we don't have drums, so that substitutes that, not substitutes it, but it gives, that, gives it a percussive sense. And um, it's just a very unique. Everything you play is, is all of a sudden very, very exposed. You know, when you play the drums, it really makes me realise how much, how many frequencies are taken up by cymbals and bass drums and these kinds of things. And it's, it's sort of almost easier to fit your sound into that and 
hide behind it a little bit with it but with this you have to be very very conscious of everybody else all the time what their part is and make sure that whatever you play fits with that and your sound fits with it and these kinds of things but I, I really enjoy writing music that has a, an, an inbuilt limitation immediately it means that you have to work a little bit harder and you come out as Ruth said you come out with something that's a little bit more unique and it, a bit more personal it's not like an off, off the shelf thing I, I couldn't really take this music and play it in another band or you know do it in a big band or something like that Method is to is to use my mobile phone and I just record myself playing and improvising and I might stumble on a little idea and I document that and I think that that'll work with Kit and Ruth and then I, I score it out and write it out for them and we'll have a little part over here and then that'll depart and that'll come back in Ruth's part somehow and write another part and then a little thing jumps out there and it kind of evolves like that and then then when we rehearse it, it we you know tear it to pieces and throw it in the bin sometimes or Find, it, find something else that works within it and rejig it around. So it's really fun, and, and, and Kit and Ruth are as much a part of the way it sounds as what, as what I write is. You know, it's not like I'm writing for a, a, pian a pianist or a bass player, I'm writing for Kit and I'm writing for Ruth. I know I sort of have an idea about what things they're going to they're gonna play before you hear it in a way. But they always surprise you and come up with something uh, wonderful <laughs> in the music. <laughs> 